In this video, I'll show you how you can install and then how you can use the Exodus wallet to store your Bitcoin. So if you're new to Bitcoin, this is going to be a simple video for you to follow. So we'll jump into it. So Exodus is an offline wallet, meaning as opposed to storing your cryptocurrency on websites like Coinbase or local Bitcoin, which are online wallets, which aren't controlled by you, you can use Exodus, an offline wallet, and have full control of your coins. This basically means that no one else can run off with your coins. You're in 100% full control. So to download and use Exodus, what you need to do is you first need to go to exodus.io or alternatively, if you just Google Exodus, it should be the first one here. So when you're on the website, click on get Exodus now and it will take you to the download page. Here you can download for desktop or your mobile. So I'm gonna quickly go and download it for my desktop. It's a 105 megabyte file. So it shouldn't take too long to download, just wait for it to download and then run the installation wizard once it's downloaded. Okay, so once the exe file has downloaded, you can go run it and it's then going to open up this window here and start to install Exodus to your computer. It's a very simple install. Once it's installed, just click OK here and we can now go and open up the program. So I'm going to open up the start menu. I'm just going to type in Exodus and you can see it, see it here. So when you first open up the wallet, it will look something like this. I have $15 in my wallet from before, but yours will say zero, obviously. So you've got your home here, which will give you an overview of all of the different cryptocurrencies that you've currently got and the price that they currently are. You've got your wallet, which is again going to show you a more detailed version of your cryptocurrencies. So you can see my $15 is currently in Ethereum. You've got the exchange, which can actually exchange one cryptocurrency into another. Now you can't buy cryptocurrency with this. So for example, I can't buy Bitcoin with my bank account using the exchange, but I can exchange like Bitcoin to Ethereum or Ethereum to Bitcoin. And I can exchange all of the different coins here. You can see there's a whole list of coins that we can actually exchange. If you go to the backup section, you're also going to need to create a password. Now, when you start putting coins into Exodus, you need to have a password and you need to remember the key pair, which is going to be the paper backup, which I'll show you in a second. So I'm going to write a password and then I'll be back. So once you've entered in your password, you're then going to need to remember and write down or take a photo of your 12 word phrase. Now, because Exodus is an offline wallet, this recovery phrase is going to allow you to recover all of your funds which are inside the wallet, if for some reason your hard drive gets corrupted, you uninstall Exodus, or for any other reason that you may not have access to your wallet, if you've got this phrase here, you can restore all of your funds and all of your money. So I'm not going to show you all of this, but if you hover over a number here, all of these numbers are going to say different words. Now you just need to write down all of these words in the order that they show you, so 1 through 12, and then with those words, if you lose access to Exodus, just type in those words, type in that phrase, and you'll get access to all of your funds again this is very important so make sure you remember your backup write it down or just print it out by using this feature here once you've done that you can click next and it's going to ask you what word is in your paper backup just to make sure you've got it and wrote it down i'm going to click this one and then click finish and there we go we've now set the password and we've now got the recovery phrase now what you can do is start to send money to the wallet so to send money what you need to do is you want to go to wallet and you want to choose what cryptocurrency you want to actually receive so i'm just going to receive some bitcoin here i'm going to click receive and it's going to give me either a qr code which we can scan or a wallet address so i'm going to copy this wallet address and then i'm going to open up a different cryptocurrency wallet and i'm just just going to send over some bitcoin here okay so i'm in electrum which is another wallet I'm just going to go send I'm going to pay to and then paste in this address here and I'm just going to send a small amount of Bitcoin for the video's sake I'm just going to send two pounds worth of Bitcoin and once I've done that I can then click send enter in my password and I've now sent the payment and we can see Electrum has detected that payment and it's made a noise as well on the computer and now we've got two dollars and sixty cents worth of Bitcoin in our Electrum wallet and this is the same no matter where you're withdrawing Bitcoin from, if you're withdrawing it from Coinbase or an exchange, or if you just want to get Bitcoin sent from your friend or family, click the receive button here and then copy this address. And you can then give this address to anybody and they can send you Bitcoin. If you want to send Bitcoin yourself, click send and you can type in their Bitcoin address and type in how much Bitcoin you want to send. If you want to buy any Bitcoin, I'll leave a link in the description to Coinbase. And then if you buy $100 worth of Bitcoin, you'll get a free $10 and I also will receive free $10. So I hope that video did help you out.